Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my October favorites. I can't believe October's over and now it's November, but if you'd like to see my favorites, stay tuned. To start off my favorites, I'm gonna go into skincare. I found a lot of great skincare products this month. I don't know what it was, but a lot of companies were coming out with some great things. And I have some intermixed old, kind of oldies, but goodies. So yeah. So the first thing I picked up was this Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. As you can see, I've already used half of it. This stuff is amazing. It really gets all of my makeup off and it makes my face really, really moisturized afterwards. I know a lot of cleansers and cleaners, just face washes in general, can dry you out, which can cause wrinkles, even more acne, but this stuff is amazing. It claims that it completely removes dirt, oil, and waterproof makeup, which I agree with. My mascara sometimes can still be on afterwards, but majority of my my makeup comes off with this stuff. I'll use additional makeup wipes if I need, um, but this stuff is definitely, I would go pick it up. I think I found it at Target, but yeah. So the next product I have is from Simple. It's their Micellar. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's the makeup removing wipes. These are great. They help remove my eyeshadow and foundation. For my mascara, it doesn't really help take that off, but I just use just regular makeup remover to get it off. I love this stuff. It's really, really gentle on my skin. So if you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend this. And if you don't have sensitive skin, I also recommend it because they are very natural. And it says that it gently cleanses, which is true, and instantly hydrates, which is also true. It doesn't dry me out. And I also love they have a micellar just kind of bottle of the micellar water, which is also really great. But I think I like these a little bit more because I use these usually every single night. Next one I have is the Formula 1006. It's from Ulta. I don't know if you can get this anywhere else. Probably online you can find it. But it's their Pores Be Pure Skin Clarifying Mask. And it has strawberry, strawberry, <laughs> strawberry and yarrow in it. It's great for unclogging um, those pores after you've had especially heavy makeup on. I really recommend this one. It has a really, really great smell. It smells like strawberries. And it, it... <laughs> The weird thing about this mask is that it kind of tingles slash stings when it goes on, but I actually kind of like that. I feel like it's working, cleaning me out. The next day my skin is so great, but make sure after you use this to extra moisturize because it will dry you out just like any other mask, but yeah, highly recommend this one. Next one on the list is this Yes to Grapefruit Correct and Repair brightening peel. I really love this brand. A lot of it is, I believe that all of their products are mostly natural. I don't know. I'll check on that for you guys. It is so great. It smells just like grapefruit. It smells like literally a fresh peeled grapefruit. It kind of burns also just like the mask, but this one burns a little bit more. So if you have sensitive skin, I would not recommend this. Um, same with the pores be pure not really great for sensitive skin. I have Kind of medium in the middle of sensitive and non-sensitive So I I can handle these but this just makes my skin so much brighter It removes the dead skin that I have this top layer Oh, and also after a while I've noticed that it's helped clear up some acne marks or just acne scars I have some down here and I had some on my forehead and it's really helped diminish those and just clear them up. So if you want something that will help you with that, I would definitely recommend this. Now on to makeup. The first item I'm going to be talking about, I talked about in my last video, it is the Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream. These are so great. They're inexpensive, they smell amazing, and they do not dry my lips out. If you wanna see more on it though, Go check out my last video and there's a little bit more information on it. Next, I have my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I've used this in a couple of my videos. I think I bought it actually in September, 
but since I didn't have a September favorites, I wanted to throw it in this video. I love this concealer. It is very brightening. It helps conceal anything you have. It's great for under the eyes. In the market for a concealer, I highly recommend this one. This was kind of on the higher end, but it's so worth it compared to all the concealers I've had. It's not cakey. It does not dry me out. It just looks so flawless. So I would give this one a go. Next, I have a new foundation that came out and it's the MAC Water Weight Foundation. This stuff has been pretty hyped on YouTube lately, but I highly recommend it. It is it's just as good as everyone else has said it is. It doesn't have an overwhelming smell to it. It doesn't it's not too dewy. It's kind of in the middle of dewy and dry. It's just like the perfect mixture. Or not dry, but you know, matte. It's so great. It gives me a flawless complexion. It reminds me of my Dior Nude Air foundation, but I kind of like this one more. The lady gave me an NC color, but it doesn't really match. It's a little too pinky, so I do have to blend it in with another foundation. But besides that, I really, really love this stuff. Next, I have my Tarte Tardius Clay Paint Liner. I've had this for a while now, but I just really wanted to tell you how much I love it. Like, I wanted to profess my love to it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's so great. It's very easy to put on with a, um, a liner brush, and it is smooth. It doesn't clump up. It's really, really easy, especially if you're a beginner. I highly recommend like a gel or paint liner over a liquid liner. As much as I love liquid liner, they can get a little bit hard to apply. So if you're in the market for a liner, go check this one out. Next on the list, I have this ColourPop shadow and it is in Lala. I'll open it up for you guys. It's this really pretty kind of copper, shimmer color. It's really, really great for fall. If you're looking for some color pop shadows, I would definitely recommend La La. It's All right, guys, that was it for my favorites this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and comment down below. I will also have all the products listed in the down bar below. I'm planning on doing another giveaway very, very soon, hopefully in the month of December. If I do, I would love some feedback of some products you'd like to see in that giveaway. And yeah, just thank you to everyone that entered in this last video. It really meant a lot. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.